Hey folks, I'm working on a new version of my website. Well, it's my personal website and blog. And yeah, it's pretty basic, I guess. There is a small admin section where I can manage my posts. This site is using Livewire, Turbolinks, Alpine, Tailwind, all the tall stack stuff. In the content section, which is the actual content of the article, I'm using Tricks, which is Basecamp's rich text editor. It's awesome, but, but there is a feature missing here from Tricks itself, which is file uploads. Right now it's not actually doing anything with file uploads, so this is not working. I want to get this working with Livewire, the, with the file uploads feature on Livewire, and yeah, let's let's get it started. So if we go back to the Tricks and view on, the, on GitHub to see the documentation, we look for upload. We see that it will dispatch an event, a custom event, whenever there is a, an upload request to be made. And then we can do the upload via Ajax and set the attachment URL once it's complete. And there is an example here, so let's go through it. So it adds a listener to the window whenever there is this event with file attachment. It will call the upload file attachment function, which will call the upload file, which will do the Ajax upload and yeah update call the progress callback once there is a progress it will call the success callback passing the attributes object which, con which contains the url and href of the image i want to get this working with livewire and yeah let's let's do that first of all i'm gonna see if i can s listen for the event here so let's copy the event and I'm gonna console log the event dot attachment. So let's refresh here. And I'm gonna drop an image here. So we can see the console log here. And this is the file that we want to upload. I'm gonna create a function here. And it will receive the attachment. Okay, and we are going to call it here passing the event attachment. So what, what I want to do here is upload with Livewire, finish the upload, complete, I'm gonna call it complete the upload, get the actual file URL. Livewire will do, will do the upload and we'll update my Livewire model after that it will give me a temporary url for that file and that's good but that's not what we need because tricks stores the url with the file itself in the content in the html content so we need a definitive url for that file and the only way to get the final url is to finish the upload process move it to the correct disk I went ahead and created a file disk here for the posts attachments. For now it's using the local driver, but later I can change it to S3. Now I can call the upload act. Before we do that, let's go to the library component. And in here I have to use the trait with upload straight from Livewire. And and I have to create the new models. And this is enough to get it uploading. So let's let's do that part first. So in here, I'm gonna call this upload and I have to specify the model name, which is um, new files, the one that we just created. And then I'm gonna specify the, the file that we are going to upload and here, I'll receive, yeah. this is the success callback from Livewire and it will give me the uploaded URL, but it's not a definitive one, it's the temporary one. We can actually console it, log, console log it. And this next callback is the error callback, which we are not gonna set here. And the third one is the progress callback and in this one, I'll receive an event and yeah, I can actually copy the same code here that it 
empty for setting the progress. So, but instead of progress di directly, I have to do event dot detail dot progress. That should be it for now. Should be enough to get the image uploading. So let's go back to net, open the network tab and test this out. So I'm gonna drop a file here. As you can see, it did the upload. So this is where it gets the signed URL to upload the file. And here is where it does the upload. And it receives the temporary URL, which it then calls the components to update the model, the new files model. And now we should have a console log with the temporary URL here. But that's not enough for us. So what we want to do is this second part here, index success. And to do that, we have to create a custom event. And my app column um, tricks upload completed. And I'm gonna use the B2A to convert the uploaded URL to base64. And this will be the, the event name. If you don't know the B2A function, you can pass any string and it will, it will return the base64 encoded version. So, yeah, with that, we actually have to create a listener here, which is a function that receives an event. And we are going to console log that event. Um, we are also going to remove ourselves from this event handler because we only are going to fire this once per file upload. So, yeah. And now we have to register that listener. Add event listener, event name. And yeah. So, this should get this listener hooked and. Once we receive this, once this event is dispatched, it will console log and remove itself because there's no need for it anymore. So what we have to do now is call the LiveWire component, complete upload passing the uploaded URL. And I'm also going to pass the event name so I don't have to recompute it. I can simply dispatch an event from there to this one. And in here, I'm gonna create the that function, and I'm gonna receive the uploaded URL and the event name. What I have to do is I have to loop over the new files, find this file, and from here, I have to finish the upload. So let's do that. I'm gonna receive a new file name and I'm gonna call the store method on this one. And I'm going to specify the posts attachment, which is the disk that we created here. So I'm gonna copy this. Okay, now we have to get the URL. So for that, I'm gonna use the facade, so storage disks, pass the same one, posts, attachment, and call the URL method and pass the file name. So this should get us the URL to that file, the finished one. And now we can dispatch a browser event. I'm gonna return just to leave the loop so I don't have to um, and what's the event name well we received it from the front end and we are going to pass the URL parameter which is this one and the href which is also the same one yeah and I think this is it um, if we go back to the Edit here. Yeah, okay. And we are consoling log the event. So let's see. Let's refresh the page. 
I'm gonna drop the file here and we should receive it here, okay? And in detail, we should receive the href and the URL that we sent from the backend. So now we can call the set attributes on the attachment and we are going to pass the event dot detail and i think this is it so let's see i'm gonna refresh again i'm gonna drop this here save and it's already it's already working as you can see here i'm gonna inspect inspect the element and it actually as the correct URL here, so that's good. If I refresh here, I should see the post with the image, which is good. I should be able to um, update the caption, save it, and yeah, things should be working. I should be able to drop more than one image and should just work. So if I save, I can see the, all three images and if I refresh here, I should see all of them. Okay, so that's good, that's already working. Um, when I, before I deploy this production, I'm gonna change this driver to as S3 or try to use the spaces from this digital version, which is an S3 implementation. So that's how you can implement the tricks attachments feature using LiveWire's file upload. Hope you liked it and yeah, see you.